My name is Tim Sutinen from privacyproshop.com. In this video, I'll show you how to install LokiNet for Pop! OS Linux, how to modify DNS to make it work with LokiNet, and how to get yourself a LokiNet VPN connection going. At this time, November of 2023, the latest stable version of Pop! OS is 22.04, and it is based on Ubuntu 22.04. The most recent version of LokiNet is 0.9.11. The first order of business is to go to deb.oxen.io with your favorite web browser and follow the instructions there to set up the Oxen repository and install LokiNet. Oxen Privacy Tech Foundation is the organization that develops LokiNet. Run these commands in terminal. You can copy and paste them from the web page. I'll have the commands in the description below too. The first command downloads the public signing key for the repository. The second command sets up the repository in sources.list. The third command reads the contents of the Oxen repository. Then install LokiNet with this command. Once the install completes, you'll need to make one edit to make LokiNet GUI work. Use your favorite text editor here I'm using the real man's editor, Vim. Edit the exec line and change from percent %u to dash dash no sandbox. Tap the escape key and then type colon wq and hit the enter key to save the file. Next you need to change DNS to make it work with LokiNet. Again, open the terminal and type these. Add the following line in the main section. DNS equals default. Once you're done, hit escape, type colon WQ, and tap enter on the keyboard. Then you need to delete the symbolic link slash etc slash resolve.conf. Next, you need to restart the network manager, and then create your own version of the resolve.conf file. In this empty file, you add just one line. Name server space 127.3.2.1. Then you tap the escape key, type colon WQ, and press enter. Now you should be able to ping your favorite LokiNet site to make sure that it works. For instance, try nemomail.loki. Nemomail is an anonymous email service over LokiNet by Privacy Pro Shop. Check it out at nemomail.me. Now onto using LokiNet VPN. Open privacyproshop.com with the web browser. Choose LokiNet VPN connection, click select options, choose either the one month or two days of access, and click add to cart. View the cart and pay for the purchase with a credit card or cryptocurrencies. Scroll down on the page and you will see the LokiNet exit node password and the available LokiNet exit nodes. If you provided an email address, you will receive an email with the same information. Next, open the LokiNet GUI app. Paste the exit node address to the exit node field. Paste the LokiNet exit node password to the auth code field and click connect. The connection should turn green once it's ready. Click on the chart tab to see information about the connection speeds and such. Then make sure your connection is going over LokiNet. Open ipinfo.io and verify that the IP address shows to be in the city of the exit node that you choose to connect to. If you have problems with LokiNet or with internet connectivity, restarting LokiNet often fixes the problem. I usually do the restart with the command line command or you can just click on the big on off switch in the LokiNet GUI app. That's all she wrote. If you're interested in LokiNet, Session Messenger, cryptocurrencies, or other open source software, please check out some of the other videos on this channel. If you have questions, send me a message on Session, the most private messaging system on the planet. My username is Privacy Pro Shop. And as always, have a happy day.